Hey everyone, before I start today's process, make sure you subscribe my new YouTube channel that is JustTech 2.0. You will get the new channel link from the description. Please subscribe it and support the new channel and also press the notification bell so that you will never miss the new update. So now let's continue today's video. So hello everyone, this is JustTech and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to show you some screenshot. First thing in your mind, this is the check rain, but it's not. It's a new Pelrain GUI mode that is available to download. Now this GUI mode will help you and make your task easy and easily jailbreak your device with the Pelrain GUI mode application. And if you don't know about the Pelrain jailbreak, I have already made the video on that. So you can check out from the description link. It's a new jailbreak that is available for the checkmate exploit. That means if you have a A11 chips and lower, you can easily jailbreak your device with this Pelrain jailbreak break so now to show you the practical process and working of the tool let me just go to my computer screen and show you the step-by-step -step process all right the new GUI mode application is available on this github profile if you go down you will see the Pelrain jailbreak high sierra and above GUI mode application and all the latest information regarding the Pelrain jailbreak and other important stuff is written there it's the same information that is also available on the official Pelrain github page so you can check out all that you will get the latest dmg file that is the 1.4.1 at the moment so you can download it from the official github page or i will give my blog link in the description go there and easily download for free all right now after the download simply install it you can drag and drop on your desktop or you can drag and drop on your application folder now after that open the Pelrain icon now if you get any warning just allow it from the security and privacy after that you will see the gui mode of the Pelrain. it's more look like the check rain official version but it's not you will see all the option like check rain but the contributors and developers are changed and you will see the Pelrain team logo and the names here you will get the option like check rain like the start button option tab and the quick mode tab also but the quick mode tabs is dummy and if you go to the option you will see the restore root fs if you want to uninstall the Pelrain jailbreak this option will help you to do the restore root fs option now next i have connected my iphone 8 that is running on the latest 16.2 if you click on the start you will see all the instruction on the screen when you click on ok it will automatically open the terminal and start the process as you know that this is the gi mode so everything will be go automatically you just need to click on ok and follow the instruction on the screen and that's all and make sure that you're compiling the criteria of the Pelrain jailbreak with your device there are two modes: one is the semi tethered and other one the tethered and also the up to 10 gb space are required for the semi tethered option as your device might be creating the fake root fs in the semi tethered mode and also the a10 and a11 devices need to turn off the passcode touch id or face id in order to jailbreak your process so now as you can see that the window will be open and you need to enter your mac password and after that it will continue you will see your terminal will close and reopen many times in the whole process you just need to follow the instruction on the screen it will ask your mac password on the terminal many times so you can enter that and click on continue now enter in the dfu mode and press that buttons to continue And if you fail to enter in the DFU mode for the first time, don't worry about that. Terminate the process and enter in the DFU mode again and the terminal will detect your device. But do not close that Pelrin GI mode application that is running behind the terminal. After that, you will see the terminal will close automatically and you will see the devices in the DFU mode. Click OK on the Pelrin app. Now you will see. Just enter your Mac password again to continue.
Now after that your device will on again and it will take the status from the device to the terminal and then it will automatically put your device into the recovery mode and as you can see that my device is now showing the recovery mode status and the devices go into that mode. Now press the button combination of the DFU mode in order to proceed. So now you can see that the jailbreak is done and after the jailbreak done on the home screen you will see a quick respring. After 5 to 10 seconds your device will take a quick respring and on it again and after that the jailbreak will done. You will see the Paladin loader on your home screen to install the Celio, Cydia or Zebra installer or other tweak injection option. Now you are seeing this installation clip from my last Pelerine video in that I have explained each and everything in detail. You just need to open the Pelerine folder, click on do all and select your favorite package manager you want to install like Celio, Cydia. Celio is more recommendable and compatible with this new jailbreak. So you can install accordingly and for the tweak injection allow do all settings and allow always. And after that you will see your favorite package manager on your home screen. So that is how you can install the Pelerin jailbreak on the latest iOS 16 down to the iOS 15 with the latest Pelerin GUI mode application. You will get all the links in the description so you can easily download it from there. And make sure you use and install the single package manager at a time. Don't use all the three package manager at a single time. Otherwise it will break some libraries and tweaks will not work properly. I'm just showing you to install all this for the video but you need to use the single package manager at a time. And the supported and compatible tweak list with the Pelerin jailbreak are listed on their official github page. So you can check out the list on that and install it. So that is all for today's video. I hope you gained some knowledge and liking my content. So just hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. I will see you in the next video. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.